Hey everybody, welcome to the Your Life Blueprint Sound Vibrations. I'm Gundarva. Thanks for sharing the videos, keep doing it. Thanks for contributing, very much appreciated in these strange times. Today is um, Monday and the vibration for Monday is the devotional vibration. It's lunar, lunar. As opposed to yesterday, Sunday, which is solar, this is a lunar day, a moon-oriented day. It's softer, it's a little quieter, it's a little more laid-back day. It's not like Sunday, which is like, boom, in your face, shining, radiating. Today is that gentle moonlight effect. Yeah. I want to give a little shout-out to... Um, a couple of my um, spiritual devotional friends who I spoke to yesterday uh, who are a bit under the weather so um, stay with your heart and anybody that's under the weather find out how you transcend the best is it the heart is it the intellect is it the senses and so forth you can find that out through a your life blueprint consultation so today you can burn some sandalwood incense listen to the music of the great Jimi Hendrix he was a, a spiritual um, devotional being and so was the uh, hugging saint called Amachi. Amachi. I'm going to read from her today. She was all about the heart. Is still alive. All I, I think yes. All about the heart. In fact, when you go to see her, she gives you a big hug. So while I play the vibrations of the day. Here's, here's Amachi. Instead of, I love you, it would be better to say, I am love. I am the embodiment of pure love. Remove the I and you, and you will find that there is only love. Only love. By the way, love is a lunar thing. It's a Monday thing. It's a heart thing. It's a devotional thing. So she speaks a lot about pure love. It is, it is as if love is imprisoned between the I and the you. Remove the I and you, for they are unreal. They are self-imposed walls that don't exist. The gulf between I and you is the ego. When the ego is removed, the distance disappears, and the I and you also disappear. They merge to become one. And that is love. That is love. Learn to be thankful to everyone, to the entire creation, even to your enemy, and also to those who insult. Because they all help you to grow. The first step in spiritual life is to have uh, is to have compassion. A person who is kind and loving never needs to go searching for God. God rushes toward any heart that beats with compassion. It is
is God's favorite place. The devotion was all about compassion too. And finally, pure love removes all negative feelings, destroying all selfishness. It expects nothing but gives everything. Pure love is a constant giving, up giving, oh, is a constant, <laughs> is a constant giving up, giving up of everything that belongs to you. What really belongs to you? Only the ego. Love consumes in its flames all preconceived ideas, ladies and gentlemen. It consumes in its flames all preconceived ideas and prejudices and judgments. All those things which stem from the ego. Pure love is nothing but the emptying of the mind of all its fears and the tearing off of all masks. It exposes the self as it is. It exposes the self as it is.